WABC Action News 5 at 10 starts now. A Mississippi man beaten outside a Walmart with bones fractured and his face badly bruised. Devin Orman sat down with WMC Action News 5 to tell his story. Good evening, I'm Felicia Bolton. Norman tells me the man who beat him is being charged with assault, but he thinks he was attacked because of his sexual orientation. Only on five, Norman recalls what happened and pleads for justice. The entire time, all I remember hearing in my head is this, that. 26-year-old Devin Norman has fractures in the bones of his face and bruises to his eyes. According to Corinth police, he was beaten by 22-year-old James Scott at the Walmart in Corinth on Friday. Both men knew each other before the attack. I never thought of him as the kind of violent, violent type. Norman says Scott grabbed him by the back of his neck and punched him after he tried to walk away. Scott is now out on bond and charged with simple assault. Norman believes he was beaten because he's gay. And I think that it's a travesty that there's an entire segment of abuse that is just swept under the rug. Um, yes, his assault was aggravated, but it was something very else entirely. It was simply because of who I love. Those close with Scott say Norman was trying to out him by posting private pictures and text messages the two men shared. Norman says he threatened to post the photos as a defense mechanism. I don't have them anymore. I was bluffing, hoping that he would back away from me because his body language was so threatening and violence scares me. Police believe this is not a hate crime, but officials plan on increasing the charges from simple assault to aggravated assault on Monday. Officials say they will continue to investigate to determine if this qualifies as a hate crime. Well, Norman did start a GoFundMe account for his medical expenses. He has gained more than $2,000 so far. There is a petition for the White House to force the Corinth Police Department to charge this as a hate crime. For more information on the story, you can head to our website. That is WMC Action News 5. A baseball coach is suspended.